so today I have a really exciting video. Well, for me, it's exciting. Um, it's a video I've been planning for a while, and not in the sense that um, I've been shooting or editing for a while or anything. It's just I've been planning it for a while. So basically, um, a few months ago, I wanted to do the, I think it's a tag, I'm not sure, but I wanted to do a um, make a wish list video and it's just kind of a fun video where if you're on project 10 pan or you're just trying not to buy makeup It's fun to think about all the things you would buy if you were swimming in cash, I guess, but um I decided to wait a few months while I compile my list and I could just make it a birthday wish list video like a makeup wish list video and because my birthday is on Sunday next week I decided to do it now and I'm really excited so I'm just gonna kind of run through the list I have it on the steno pad that I've been keeping track of and it's a it's just one page front and back and um, uh, if I can find a picture of everything then I'll probably just insert it in here somewhere while I'm talking about it and then we'll go from there okay so first I'm gonna talk about or not talk about, I'm gonna run through the list of non makeup non beauty items I guess and um, Okay, so the first thing is running shoes. I need running shoes, like, it's it's pretty up there on the list. Um, my running shoes are really beat up, and I've been looking at the the Nike Free ones, the ones that um, come in a lot of fun colors. I just like that a lot. Okay, next, because I know you guys don't care about this, I'm going to try to run through because I actually am on my way out, so I'm going to try to quickly go through the list. The next thing is a Clarisonic, and I've been wanting this for a few months now, and I think I'm going to get it even if I don't get it for my birthday. I mean, okay, disclaimer, um, this birthday wish list is purely for fun. Like, I'm not showing this to anyone in my family or my friends or anything. I'm not like, hey, this is what I want for my birthday. It's just what I want. Like, this is just a wish list. I'm not, like, going to go show this to all my family members and be like, Hey, you know, get me this and this and this. No, I'm not. I've never been that kind of person, and I'm not starting now. So don't worry about it. Um, I'm not like a spoiled little brat or anything. Um, next on my list is colored contacts, and I've just been thinking about getting this for a while, also. And I'm probably gonna get it, even if I don't get it. But um, I'll probably get like a hazel color, just something to lighten up my eyes a little bit for when I go out or whatever. And then next is okay. We're kind of um transitioning into more beauty products but not yet um one of the perfumes i want for or one of the per, i'm not going to say for my birthday anymore okay one of the perfumes that i've been wanting for a while is the benefits laugh with lily and it's one of the cute little bottles that you see in the little um house on the balcony when you go to ulta or um sephora or anything like that and then I would like to try the Lush Dry Shampoo, which is a powder dry shampoo, and you kind of sprinkle it onto your hair. And I, I know I've talked about this in my other videos, and I was talking about how I was going to try it, but I never did. And um, the next thing is a Sigma brush set, because I've been wanting to try Sigma brushes for probably the longest time ever, but I just never invested in it, because I feel like it's overpriced, but I think it'd make a good gift. Like, I would want the... Um, either the pink or the kind of turquoisey blue one that comes in that uh, cylinder and um it's like the make me blush or the cool down or something like that and then or i want to try the um synthetic face brushes that's what i want to try and then next is i want the mario badescu hyaluronic eye cream and i heard good things about it and i read up a lot of reviews and all were good so i I'm probably going to try it after my other um, eye cream runs out, but it's only $18, which is pretty affordable for an eye cream. So hopefully it works well, even though it's cheaper. Um, the next thing, the last thing on the non-makeup, or I guess this, this is probably the first of the makeup. Okay, it's the Urban Decay Setting Spray, and I just want to see if it does make my makeup last all day, and... I feel like it'd be good for not every day, but just for when you're going out or you're having a long day, you know you're going to have a long day. The next part of my wish list is going to be a few things that were on my wish list a few months ago, but got discontinued while I made this video and I didn't buy it in the in-between time because I have been on like a saving spree because I just need to be right now. But um, all these are MAC products that are discontinued. So first is a tender tone in purring, which... Obviously, okay, none of these I'm going to get because they're discontinued or they're 
a sold out or whatever. Um, so it's the purring tender tone. And then for blushes, I wanted from the Trey Chic collection, I wanted Immortal Flower and Modern Mandarin. So I'm really upset that I didn't get to try those. And then for lipstick for MAC, I wanted to try Flamingo from the Iris Apfel collection. And then Watch Me Summer and Real Sexy. And all those, are, the Flamingo is a really pretty bright coral color. And I just have been dying to try that. But the other two are coral I think also um, I can't remember because uh, I had a few others and then so it's just I guess sticking with Mac I'm gonna move on to the things that are actually still on the market um, I want the more to love lip liner which is a bluish pink um, like a bright fuchsia color and I tried it on and I love it I'm gonna get it uh, I'm obviously not gonna get it, but uh, I'm gonna buy it for myself. And then with that, I want the lipstick in Lickable, and it's just kind of the same color, but a lipstick, and it's a cream sheen, I think? Cream sheen or satin finish. And then I'm just gonna list off all the other MAC lipsticks I want, which is MAC Red. It's a satin finish um, blue red, and I want that just because I need a new red lipstick and I was going to get Ruby Woo because Paulina kept talking about it but she said it's really drying because it's a matte finish so I don't like that and then um, I wanted kind of sexy which is a a nude on me um I've always been looking for a nude lipstick but I can't find one that doesn't wash me out and actually real I mean kind of sexy is more of a my lips but better color on me and then I want Costa Chic which is a bright coral like bright bright coral color and um usually okay costa chic is a frost finish and usually i don't go for frost finishes but i tried it on and i really liked it and then i want vegas volt which is another coral but in a different um shade not shade a different level of coral and then cross wires and okay and then oh okay yeah that's all for lipsticks and then for mac blushes i'm gonna try to go by brands here just to keep it very um organized I actually ha okay my list was much messier I threw it away already I crumpled it up and threw it away but it was much messier and there are stains all over it and I rewrote it last night so that's why it's kind of organized but um for MAC this is the last for MAC and it's the MAC blushes and I want gingerly which is just um a nice brown color and then I want peaches which is a soft peach color and then um let's see what else did I have on here? Okay, and then moving on. Okay, what I have on here is just basically the Naked palettes because I would just want it. But it's not like, oh my god, I have to have the Naked palette. But I'll probably get it soon enough. And then moving on to the next brand is Tarte. And I have been wanting all these Amazonian clay blushes for forever, basically. But I want the shades Exposed, which is a brownish color kind of on the same in the same family as gingerly from Mac, but um i just want to try it because i've heard really good things about it and then i want tipsy which is a coral color you know me into coral and then i want natural beauty which is a very pretty like strawberry pink color and it's really bright and just very summery and i'm really excited to try that one and then also from Tarte, I want to try some more of the Lip Surges lip stains because I got one in my birch box and I really liked it. It's actually really, really moisturizing and I just want to try more of them. And then I also want to try the Smooth Operator um, Setting Powder. It's a loose translucent powder and I've heard really good things about it because I've tried other translucent powders but they just leave a white cast on my face and this one just, I've heard so many good things. And then the last thing from Tarte that I want to try is the Maracuja Concealer. It's a new concealer, and it's supposed to be not creasing under your eyes, and I've just been looking for that. And my favorite concealer has been discontinued, which I will talk about in another video. But moving on, um, let's see. Okay, I want to try the Fairy Drops Mascara. They have that at Sephora. It's a uh, Japanese brand, and I heard that it keeps a curl really well, like you know me. And then the other mascara I want to try is the Ico mascara. They also have this at Sephora. It's in the tube. The it looks like, let's see, it looks like a tin foil tube, and it's kind of uh, flat here, and then it angles out like that. And then there's the tube. And then um, I actually tried it when I went to Sephora one time, and I actually really liked it. So I want to invest in that. And then let's move on to the next brand, which is NARS. And for NARS, I want a cream blush in cactus flower which is a bright neon like um let's see like a neon pink 
And then the other blush I want is a powder blush, and it's in Desire. And this is also a bright, like, blue pink, in-your-face pink, that I actually tried it on when I went to Pyriso's house, and I actually really liked it, so I would like that. And I actually had this on my list before I tried it on at her house, so now I want it even more. And then also from NARS, I would like the Dan Mari palette, which is the blush palette, and it has a highlight, a bronzer, and four blushes, so I've heard a lot of hype about that, so I would like that. But I feel like it's a little bit overpriced, just for, or not overpriced, if you kind of um, calculate out the, you know, what you get in it for what the price and the other blushes, but I just feel like it's a bigger investment, and if you, kn you don't, if you know me, you know that I'm not, like, I don't, I don't splurge on makeup, like, I'll, I like, ma I love makeup, and I spend a lot of money on makeup, but I don't, like, go out and splurge on the high-end stuff, and I don't know, I've just, I feel like the low-end stuff works just as well, and I would like the high-end stuff, but I don't feel like it's worth the money, I don't know, sometimes it's worth it, and sometimes I don't feel like it is, and I keep looking over here, because I'm scared my camera's gonna run out of time, because, like I said in, oh, Actually, I said in my other video, but it didn't upload, but my camera only films 20 minutes at a time, so after that, I have to restart the roll, and then, that's why sometimes there's cuts in my videos, even though I don't mean for there to be cuts in my videos, but anyway, moving on before this, like, kill, this runs out, okay, I'm wasting time, um, the last thing I want from NARS is the Larger Than Life Long Wear Eyeliner in Rue, ba Rue Bonaparte, and this is just um, like a nude almond color and I just want this for my waterline because sometimes I feel like white is too harsh there and it just it just looks weird I don't know like, I, I do do it sometimes but I feel like it's way too harsh on the waterline and I feel like the kind of flesh color would brighten up the eyes in a more natural light and then moving on, I want the Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer, and it smells like cocoa. I tried it before, and I really like it. And then, um, from, I'm trying to hurry up. Um, from Makeup Forever, I want the eyeshadow in number 5, which is a coral color. And I have been hunt, on the hunt for a coral eyeshadow for, I don't know, the past few months, I guess. But I saw it, and I... Like, usually, you know how you see a color and you swatch it and it's not what you want it to be? And this is definitely what I've been looking for. It's a matte coral color and it just, like, with one swatch, it actually shows the color true to what you see in the pan. And usually a lot of coral blushes share out, but this one I love. So I'm going to get that. And then, um, this one I've been wanting for a while as well. And it's the Balm's Mary Luminizer and it's a highlight. And I just heard it's really good, so I wanted to try that. And then, um, I want the Hello Kitty Paracene palette, and it's one of the ones where it's the shape of her head, and then it has, um, you open it and there's eyeshadows on top, and then this one has a blush on the bottom. I don't like the ones with lip products on the bottom, I just like, I just prefer blush. I hate, um, the ones with lip products on the bottom, because it just makes things messy. Like, I used to have a NARS, I mean, no, a NYX palette with, um, lip glosses on the bottom, it just got so sticky everywhere, and I hated it. And I'm sorry if my voice sounds weird and I'm all congested because I've just been really sick the past few days and I'm trying to get over it, but I lost my Robitussin. <laughs> um, next on the list is the Sigma Paris palette, and I don't know if you guys have heard about this, but a lot of the, or not a lot, but some of the beauty gurus on YouTube went to Paris with Sigma and they created their own palette and it comes with brushes, blah, blah, all that. You guys can go look that up. Um, I'll insert a picture, of course, but... Um, I think that's really cute. I love, as you can see from my last two, it's the Hello Kitty Paris palette, which has the Eiffel Tower on the front, and then the Sigma Paris palette. I love Paris-themed things and travel-themed things. So the next on the list is, um, I want the Sleek Blush by 3 palette, and it's from the brand Sleek, and <laughs> it's a palette about this big, and it comes with three blushes, and it's $15. Oh, I will include the prices for all of these when I talk about them as well, but, um, I've heard their quality is really good, so I wanted to try that. I also want to try some of their eyeshadows because I heard that was good, too, and their bronzing powder and highlight, but mostly the blush by three. Um, and then also I want an Inglot palette, and I want to try their quality because I've heard really good things about them, so I want to try. They have a freedom system. It's kind of like the custom MAC palettes or whatever, but um, I feel like the Inglot is a lot more affordable, but I want to try a eyeshadow palette and a blush palette just to try the quality and test it out and you know see what the hype is about and then 
I want the sugar pill palette. I want two of their palettes. The first one is the Burning Heart, and the second is the Heartbreaker, which is the newest one that's come out. And the Heartbreaker has, um, like, blues and greens and purples, and then the Burning Heart has, like, like, all of these have really good pigmentation, or so I've heard, and they're matte, which I am in love with, but the Burning Heart has a bright yellow, a bright red, a bright... Or, or a bright purple and a bright orange, if I'm not mistaken. And then, um, okay, the last thing on here is the YSL Glossy State, and there's a lot of other f little French words in between that I will not try to embarrass myself on camera with, but basically it's the one where it's in a rectangular, like, box tube, and um, it has a doe fit applicator like a lip gloss, and you put it on in three layers first. You put it on, and then you let it dry, and put it on again and again, and it's supposed to last all day, but be glossy, but, like, a stain, like the name suggests, but I really want to try it, and in no particular shade, I just really want to try it. So just to see if it actually works the way it says, or if it lives up to the hype because Florida de Forest was talking about this and I really wanted to try it. So that's all for my birthday wish list video. Oh my gosh, look, I have three minutes to spare. So this video is gonna be about 20 minutes. Um, let's see. Oh, I wanted to ask you guys. Uh, I have been looking for a good eye cream and a good hand cream. So if you have any suggestions, please leave it in the comments below because I'm just, I've just been on the hunt for it for I don't know how many years now, but I haven't found the perfect eye cream for me or the perfect hand cream because I feel like hand creams, either they're too greasy or they don't really moisturize and I want a really good one. And then for eye cream, I don't know, I feel like I don't want to splurge on it if it's not really going to do anything for me, you know what I um, So that's that. And then I had something else to say. I can't remember. Um... Oh, also, leave in the comments down below what would be on your birthday wish list or what's on your makeup wish list or any wish list because I don't know. I like to see what people want to try because, yeah, I just threw it on my bed. Um, I don't know. That's just interesting to me. It's kind of like looking in someone's purse. I don't know. I like, that sounds weird, but I like looking in people's purses. I don't know if you do. So maybe I'll do a what's in my purse video. I don't know. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope everyone's having a great day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.